Week one, the Raiders travel to play Denver, and the game within the game is right up at the top. Devontae Adams against Patrick Sertan. Now, Devontae gets himself some room on the sideline and beats Sertan in the first two minutes of that week four game last year at the Death Star in Las Vegas. Tay was targeted 26 times against the Broncos last year. All right, now here he is at the bottom. Now, he has traveled, okay? Sertan has traveled with Devontae Adams last year over and over again. Here, Devontae tries to take it to the corner, and Sertan sits on it and then breaks on the ball and saves a touchdown right there. Now, will Vance Joseph, the new defensive coordinator of the Broncos, allow Sertan to do the same thing? I imagine he will. All right, now, right here at the top, just a quick jam. Right here, Sertan, bam, trying to disrupt the timing of this play right here. Bam. And all he's doing is he's reading the feet of Devontae Adams right here. He likes to skip off it. So while he's skipping, he's jamming him. Disrupt the timing and then defend the pass. Well done by Sertan. Now, up at the top, this will be off man, 10 yards off by Sertan. And Devontae is going to step on his toes right here. And really, he gets into the blind spot of Patrick Sertan. Sertan doesn't know if he's going deep here because he's cluing the quarterback. So right here, it's going to be a bizarre turn right here just to see if he stopped on this comeback. And he does, and he defends the ball. It's a great reaction by Sertan on that play. Now, here we go, down to the bottom. Devontae just working the sidelines, giving himself some room right here. Again, skip off the line, and then even right here, just late hands, quick hands. Late hands, but quick hands. Gets one on Sertan on the sideline. Expect a bunch of those type of throws. Now, third and four, up at the top. Third and four in this game, here's Devontae. The ball's coming to him. Sertan knows it. A little stop route for the first down. But watch Sertan drive on it right here, and then force Devontae Adams to come back to the ball. Tackle the catch and not let them get the first down, setting up a fourth and one. You can see guys with their fist in the air, fourth down. You see the official spotting it a yard short. Nice job by Sertan forcing the fourth down. Now, you can expect Devontae Adams to get off of Sertan by these kind of motions and shifts with Josh Jacobs going out wide here to an empty set. Now you get Devontae in the slot off Sertan. You can expect these kind of things from Josh McDaniels throughout the game to get Devontae's freed up in the middle of the field. All right, right there in a first down. Second and 13, first down. Now, week 11... They played again here at Mile High. Here's Devontae at the bottom against Sertan. Sertan's in great shape, okay? He's not guessing. He's got his hips open. He's forcing Devontae to the sidelines. Right now, Devontae's not giving him any clue that the ball's coming his way. But watch this. Late hand. Late left hand. That's all he shows him. At the very end. Late left hand. And that's all it took to win on that matchup right there. 15 yards. Now, even with communication up at the top here, all right, safety and corner right here. Sertan and the safety talking together right here. They're going to bracket Devontae Adams, and he sees it, recognizes it right away, and he runs away from the safety through the bracket, and 31 yards later, he gets his first touchdown pass of the game. All right, so that's breaking bracket coverage right there. I mean, it's just high skill against high skill. Now, here we go at the top. All right, so you're going to get a quick slant, and you're going to get a quick jab. Bam. All right. Now, Devontae gets rid of the hand. A perfect throw is going to win here. The throw's not perfect. Devontae's got late hands right there. Incomplete pass. So, Tan will take it. Now, Vance have a similar scheme this year in the red zone. Watch at the bottom right here. All right. Here's the third down. Devontae sees the bracket coverage. So, Tan's taking him outside in. Safety sitting on top of him. Like, you can't get any tighter than that. Everybody else is singled up across the board. All right, so will Vance have a game plan in the red zone, third down, when you know the ball wants to be thrown to Devontae Adams? You got to take him away. You got to go someplace else with the ball. You got a linebacker, Josie Jewell, underneath, and you got a bracket at the top. That's excellent defense. But this isn't excellent defense. 16-16 in overtime right here. Devontae in a tight slot position right here. It looks like he's running the deep over. That's kind of how the Broncos are playing. 
All he's trying to do is buy real estate. He gets half the field to his right. And right here, Derek Carr just feeds him, throws it to an open patch of grass. And Devontae beats Sertan. He beats Justin Simmons. He beats the Broncos as he waves goodbye to the Broncos right there. Game winner in overtime. What a matchup week one between Devontae Adams and Patrick Sertan. High skill versus high skill. The Bengals travel to Cleveland week one for the Battle of Ohio. And at left tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals, protecting the blind side of Joe Burrow is going to be Orlando Brown Jr. Right here, Miles Garrett gets off on him quickly and he hits the quarterback. But if you notice, Zeus is in a three-point stance. He'd be better off handling Miles Garrett if he was in a two-point stance. Like, this is the first game of 2021. This is the first game that Zeus played for the Kansas City Chiefs. Here he's in a two-point stance now. Now it gets back better. Now he's inside out right here. Miles trying to turn that corner, and he runs around Mahomes right there. This is going to be a huge matchup in this game. Miles Garrett probably gunning for Defensive Player of the Year. Zeus is a high-priced free agent. Signed from Kansas City to really bolster the offensive line of the Bengals. So maybe you put a tight end next to him just to slow him down. Give him something to look at. Now, see, this is the strength of Zeus. He's got long arms, all right? And when he can keep Miles away from him, off his body, he's much more effective. Miles spins, but right there, Orlando Brown is in good shape on him right here. Now, what you want to do is make Miles go around you. When he tries to go through you, you can swallow him up right here. Like, that's not the best method for Miles to get to the quarterback. But you don't want to give up the inside. Like, right here, Miles gets on his inside shoulder, and he rips it. And if Mahomes has to hold that ball, he's going to get plastered. Okay? So, this matchup is going to go on all day. Now, on third and seven, even on third and seven right here, Kelsey, their number one target, will do that to Miles Garrett. And maybe Cincinnati should think about using Irv Smith, their tight end, to do the same thing, just to protect Joe Burrow, especially coming off that calf, that calf injury. Now here, on this boot drag concept right here, everybody is stepping to the left. Like they all get a shot here at Miles Garrett, including the running back right there. That would help give Mahomes time to try to make this throw. There's a lot of different ways to help out against Miles Garrett. Just don't think that you can just run through Zeus. Now, this is a classic example here of when Miles is trying to just power rush. That's going to favor Orlando Brown. He's got too much mass. All right. Now, he still gets through there, but at the end, Miles Garrett's down the ground and the quarterback escapes. Okay. Now, if the quarterback drifts or bails, Joe Burrow just feels like he's got pressure coming. It's going to fire, favor Miles Garrett right here. Like, Zeus is in bad shape right now if Mahomes can step up, but he doesn't. And if he drifts, Miles will be like, that's a runaway freight train. He's going to get to him. It's just a matter of time. Now, in the quick game, the quicker the better. The quicker you can get rid of the football, the better right here. Bam! Like, excellent job by Zeus right here. Attacking that inside shoulder. And Mahomes helps with a quick throw to Kelsey and for a touchdown. Now, you can watch right here. This is third and ten. Your quarterback wants to take a five-step drop. And you don't help protect the edges. Like, this is going to favor Miles Garrett. Like, this is late in the game. 2021. In Kansas City. Week one. Miles gets home. Okay? But, what you can do here is you can run the ball. Zeus wants to run the ball. Like, maybe run away from Miles Garrett. Like the Chiefs do here in this, right here. Where you watch Zeus right here, and he just gets to put that 370-pound body and just push a pile. Like, that's a good thing to do. But even when Zeus was in Baltimore, all right, and he would go up against Miles Garrett when he'd come over to his side, like maybe you should just run right at him. Because if you can run the ball, this is what Zeus wants to do. All right? So maybe Cincinnati should bounce things up here and let Zeus just lean on Miles Garrett for a big part of the game. Either way, this is going to be an electric matchup. The Bengals have been trying to upgrade their offense line to protect Joe Burrow. Zeus comes over. He wants to be a, a priority left tackle in this league, and he's going to get one of the best defensive ends in all of football, one of the best defensive players in football in Miles Garrett week one in the battle for Ohio. In week one, the Eagles go up to New England to face the Patriots. And Lane Johnson, 
will be going up against Matt Judon a great deal. This is Lane Johnson's last sack that he surrendered to Olivier Vernon, Week 11, 2020. All right? And this is on a bad ankle. He just couldn't really set his foot in the ground and stop the bull charge from Olivier Vernon. That's the last sack he gave up. When you watch Lane Johnson, I don't care who it's against. Here he is against Nick Bosa. It starts with his get off. Like nobody gets off the ball faster than Lane Johnson. All right, now, once he gets that foot back, he's three yards separation with him and Nick Bosa. So now he's just got to lock him up. So when you watch this play right here, watch his right foot and watch him get vertical, fly out of his stance right here. Now, he's in a place to start the fight. Now watch his hands come underneath Nick and to lift him up and to stop the charge. And Hurts gets rid of the ball. This is a consistent, this is the NFC Championship game. It's the same thing here. Lane Johnson's start is as good as anybody. That gets him in great position right here. Nick Bosa hasn't left the line of scrimmage yet. He hasn't left the depot. Look at him. He's got over three yards of depth away from Nick Bosa. Now, when you play Matt Judon and you play the Patriots, you have to be ready for twist stunts, like right here, Eric Armstead and Nick Bosa. So one of the things that happens when you vertical set is you can get underneath these stunts. It said tackle and twist. Lane's right underneath it, say Amalo and Kels here there. Now, the Eagles will have a new right guard in Cam Jurgens, so they got to make sure that they're tightened up with those twist stunts because Matt Judon and the Patriots will do that. You watch him against other elite players like T.J. Watt. It doesn't matter. It's consistent. Watch the start. Like T.J.'s barely left the line of scrimmage, Lane Johnson is three yards off the ball. All right, and he just runs him right past the quarterback here. Here it is. Same play from the end zone. Watch the start. Now, he's got to close the gap a little bit with TJ. He's not going to give him any hands to chop. See his hands are down? Nothing for him to chop. Now, stay on your feet and run him by the quarterback. Can't get it any better than that. In another set. What TJ Watt is outside the tight end here. He's in a wide, wide nine. All right, now here he comes. Little head shake. Don't go for it right there. Now just stay inside out. Stay between you and the quarterback. Lane's as good as anybody. Micah Parsons, watch the start. This is what Judon's got to get ready for. It's the same thing. Like he times it with Kelsey perfect. And even as good as Micah Parsons is, he can't handle that. So, you watch Lane. Look at it. One eyeball's on the ball. One eyeball's on Micah. There he is. Like Micah has not out of his stance and Lane is now set and ready to action. This is what Matt Judon's got to get ready for. Or Josh Uche or anybody over there. It should be a great week one matchup. Because here's Judon. I mean, Judon's gone to four straight Pro Bowls. Lane Johnson has been first team all pro twice with a total of four Pro Bowls. Now here he is against Penny Sewell. Sewell gets off to a good start. But the one thing about Judon, he's not going to stay right in front of you. He's going to come off the edge. So now... Ball comes out, and Kyle Duggar picks it up. Huge play, all right? Touchdown off the forced fumble. All right, let's watch him right here. Like, here he is against Sewell right now, and you watch. You put a tight end over him, like T.J. Hawkinson. You can't do this to Judon. You can't put a tight end over him. Watch what he does to him. It's just a diss rag. And then he can run and chase as well as anybody off the edge. He's got strong hands. And he's slippery. Like here he is coming into Penny Sewell. He gives up over 100 pounds to Sewell. Bam. Now watch his hands. Slides right off him. See? Now he's got a, a great charge. If Goff doesn't get rid of it, Judon's going to hit him. All right? Forces an errant throw. Let's watch him here against Cincinnati. He isn't always rushing. Like right here, he reads the play. He's a very unselfish player. All right? So... Like, he reads this play immediately, and Jamar Chase gets outside. He gets the ball out. Force fumble, they get on it. This is late in the game, fourth quarter. Patriots trying to come back from down 22-0. Judon gets excited, and he should. Defense makes a big play. He makes a ton of plays like that. Now, you got to be ready for the stunt game. Like I said, Lane Johnson, they got to get ready for it because they're excellent. The Patriots have always been excellent at stunts, all right? If you watch this right here, Uche is lined up over the right tackle. He wants to draw his block and take his eyes off it. Now here comes Judon. 
slippery right to Tua right here and gets him down. All right, he's excellent on twist stunts. Now, you can chop him. Like, here comes Ingold, the fullback. He's going to chop him. But he's not staying down on the ground. He's got excellent agility. Gets up and puts this hit right on Tua. That ball should have been intercepted. Okay? So, he can play anywhere. He can line up at linebacker. Over the right side, over Lane Johnson. He can come over to the other side. He's used to being doubled and tripled. Like right here. He's got all kinds of guys hitting him. But he still gets to Tua right here. And forces that that ball into the ground. And he's a problem left one-on-one with anybody in this league. He's going to dip. He's going to rip. He's going to ghost you. He's going to long arm you. Like he's got a variety of moves. And he's going to affect the quarterback. This is a great week one matchup. Eagles going up to the Patriots. Patriots, 11th ranked defense in the NFL a year ago with good players everywhere and a good scheme. But Lane Johnson and Matt Judon should be a lot of fun to watch. It's worth the price of admission, even paying maybe some inflated ticket prices in order to sit down to watch that one at Gillette Stadium with Tom Brady on hand for the beginning of the festivities of the game. 